Happy holidays, fabulous! It's the ghost of Christmas present. Nars here with a holiday fix. Meowster Chief officially comes to Halo Infinite today. The publisher of Chicory discusses how indie games are getting absurdly expensive, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla is getting a comic book prequel to Dawn of Ragnarok. <laughs> We didn't think it was possible, nor would it ever happen, but yes, it's real. Meowster Chief has officially arrived in Halo Infinite. To know a cat is pure joy, but to actually spend money on cosmetic isn't something you decide to do. No, it's pretty much a pretentious response that compels you to purchase. In this case, you can't help but be mew to spend $10 on this latest helmet skin named Perfect Audio. The bundle comes with a pink armor coloring cat ear helmet and two gun dangles with one of an actual cat and the other one of Cat's helmet from Halo Reach. Plenty of Halo Infinite players have jumped on the meow skin, with many teams now adorned with the adorable accent. Some took to Reddit to lament their disgust at the addition of cat ears, but alas, forgive me if I like cats too much. Whoever had the catitude to release these cosmetics deserves the fortitude of my love. It's important to withhold the predominantly awesome meowment of the imposable might of Meowster Chief. But in all seriousness, Microsoft and 3 for 3 Industries have not made clear how long the skin will be available, so be sure to grab it now, or it'll be a catastrophe. In other meals, <clears throat> Indie publisher Finji spoke with IGN about how indie games are getting absurdly expensive to make. In a recent interview with Rebecca Saltzman, she discusses the success of her company's recent game titles like Chicory, A Colorful Tale, and future titles like Tunic, and the challenging balance of publishing and working on games. Because of how hands-on Finji is with design mentorship and support to its studio partners during development, the team behind Finji says it has to be choosy about its projects, keeping a healthy work-life balance for its team, remaining relevant in between games, and sustaining their fan base is not easy for a small indie company to do. For an indie dev to launch a game then disappear for three years and launch another game, it can cause their fan base to feel out of touch. Industry trends can change over the span of a game being developed and understanding the costs that come with making indie games has changed as well. Depending on how much platforms take, most are lucky to get 70% of proceeds from sales before even that gets cut due to marginal costs. Most indie games are priced at $10 to $20 because there is an unspoken cap on how much they can charge and the devs that sell 100,000 copies are an extremely small fraction. That makes it tough for most of them to earn back their investment and make a profit even with successful indies. New Trend Saltzman also spoke about our predatory indie publishing contracts that demand IP rights on certain platforms with large percentages of revenue taken out offering no choice to smaller indie developers to just get their games funded. Saltzman warns this is a cautionary tale to anyone who wants to work with a publisher. Do your homework, because a lot of crappy publishers exist that can rob good devs of their creative passions and happiness. And finally, Dark Horse's latest comic book spinoff is a follow-up to Assassin's Creed Valhalla Song of Glory, which is a direct prequel to the main game. IGN has the exclusive reveal of Assassin's Creed Valhalla Forgotten Myths. Forgotten Myths is specifically a prequel to the upcoming DLC expansion Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok, which sees main protagonist Eivor traverse the mythological realm of Savat the Helm. This won't be your average Assassin's Creed adventure, as it will see Norse gods Thor, Baldur, and Heimdall discover trouble at Asgard's borders. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Forgotten Myths Book 1 will release in comic shops and digital storefronts March 16th, shortly after Dawn of Ragnarok is released on PC and console on March 10th, 2022. And that was your Games Fix for today, December 22nd. We will be going dark for the next two days for the holiday. So on behalf of everyone at IGN, we wish you all a happy and merry holiday season. For more content while we are away, download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and head on over to IGN.com come for a ton of other content being released in the interim. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous, especially this holiday season.